It happened. They called it the Blue Death. As dehydration racked the body, blood would begin to thicken in patients' veins. Starved of oxygen, their skin would turn a sickly shade of blue. In severe cases, apparently healthy Londoners would drop in the middle of the street and were often dead by the end of the day. With over 3 to 5 million cases each year and 100,000 annual fatalities resulting from the infection, cholera is still endemic in approximately 50 countries, primarily in Africa, South and Southeast Asia. What makes cholera deadly is that its symptoms do not often appear in those suffering from the infection. It can take up to five days for an infected individual to display symptoms. However, according to the World Health Organization, cholera can be fatal within a few hours of infection. Watch the video till the end as we uncover some intriguing facts about this deadly disease in under six minutes on Prepladder Neatweed. Cholera became a disease of global importance in 1870. In that year, a particularly lethal outbreak occurred in Jaisor, India, midway between Kolkata and Dhaka. It then spread across India, moving its way towards Burma and Ceylon. The second cholera pandemic impacted Europe and America in 1929, which further spread towards Moscow and St. Petersburg, followed by Finland and Poland a year later. In 1832 and 33, the Western Hemisphere, Mexico, and Cuba were impacted by the Blue Death. Two decades later, in 1852, the third pandemic, which was also the most deadly of all, erupted in India. From there, it rampaged across Persia, Europe, the United States, and the remaining regions. In 1854, after the death of 23,000 people in the Great Britain, Referred to as the Broad Street Pump Outbreak, the world finally caught a break. Known as the father of contemporary epidemiology, John Snow's investigation of London's Broad Street Pump Outbreak and his grand experiment played a key role in identifying the cause of the cholera. Snow compared waterborne cholera cases in two regions of the city, one receiving sewage contaminated water and the other receiving relatively clean water. His innovative reasoning and approach remain viable and are regarded as exemplary by epidemiologists around the world. Six subsequent pandemics killed millions of people across all continents. The current pandemic started in South Asia in 1961, reached Africa in 1971, and the America in 1991. Cholera is now an endemic in many countries. Symptoms it takes between 12 hours and 5 days for a person to show symptoms after ingesting contaminated food or water. Among people who develop symptoms, the majority have mild or moderate symptoms, while a minority develop acute watery diarrhea with severe dehydration. Severe cholera is characterized by profuse watery diarrhea, described as rice water stools, often accompanied by nausea and vomiting, that can rapidly lead to severe volume depletion. Warm and salty coastal waters are very conducive to the growth of cholera and it is transmitted through contaminated water. So, impoverished and crisis-ridden areas are at the highest risks for the outbreak, according to the World Health Organization. Transmission A person can get cholera by drinking water or eating food contaminated with cholera bacteria. The source of the contamination is usually the feces of an infected person that contaminates water or food. The disease can spread rapidly in areas with inadequate treatment of sewage and drinking water. Treatment Cholera is an easily treatable disease. If treated quickly, even severely ill patients can be saved. Rehydration is the cornerstone of cholera treatment. The majority of people can be treated successfully through prompt administration of oral rehydration solution. For severely dehydrated patients, appropriate antibiotics are given to diminish the duration of diarrhea, reduce the volume of rehydration fluids needed, and shorten the amount of duration of weak cholera excretion in their stool. Prevention 
Prevention of cholera is dependent on access to safe water, adequate sanitation and basic hygiene needs. Also, boiled water or drinking only bottled water and proper hand washing can help prevent cholera infection. While it is necessary to take all preventive measures, it is even more important to understand the disease in depth for a better diagnosis. And that's what we aim to do with these informative videos. Subscribe to our channel for more education content like this. See you next week.